Shane McDermott for Australia, leading the Junior Wallabies out. And his counterpart in the captaincy stakes, Hisanobu Okayama, the number seven for Japan, leads out his charges. McDermott. Japan having to defend once more. Moala, though, the strength of the man. Holds up his runner coming down his channel. McDermott, Kunzel. Now this is Lucas. Popping the ball off to Hangana. Didn't have his best game against Wales, I say Hangana, but he's having a good start here. Now this is McTaggart. McTaggart back inside oh. to Mac Hansen. Australia at the double already. Simple three on two then, wasn't it? Doing the simple things well. McTaggart did his job, but look at this. Oh, back door, back to Hansen. Thanks very much. Japan lining up to pick and go here. For Captain Okayama, but they switch play. Cutting in field. Good power from Japan. Rolling over the line, and Japan have their first score in the tournament. It's taken 95 minutes of play in total. Nilled against Australia, nilled against New Zealand, rather. They are up and running against Australia. The early tackle off the back of the line. This is an area where Australia have a real strength in this tournament at the scrum. But Japan get the ball away, and it's over to Vilea with a bit of chance to see what he can do on the right hand side, powering through one. Another try scorer, Yamasawa. Just keep the mark for your mate. Goes around the back. Mamada goes for the crossfield kick. It's gathered oh. in brilliantly. Japan have two in three minutes, and they are right back into this one here in Narbonne. I'll tell you what, we were waxing lyrical about that Australian score against the Welsh on Wednesday night. Well, that's just as good. A brilliant set piece play. All started with a pickup from Ashipeli Moalo. Vilea did brilliantly here down this near touch line. Australia who come away with that line out ball through Marfu. Marfu driving forward as well. He's over the line. Can he place it? He does. Australia get their fourth try. And it's the hooker, Efetusi Marfu. All the power in the world. And Japan unable to haul him down. He had a bit of help from his friends. First try in the tournament for Marfi. Look at the leg drive. Real intent and desire to get over the try line. And again, the awareness of where his body position was. Look at the leg drive here. Still pumping his legs. Cheers, man. Gets a bit of help. Lonigan. Harrison. Well, he ducked out of that one. It was. Japanese substitute Tanaguchi who went for him. Now Lonigan is coming through again. He's going to get a double, is Ryan Lonigan. Another great score for Australia and Lonigan. Hugely disappointed not to start this game. After having started against the Welsh's captain, well, he's made his point, hasn't he? And the confidence will be high if they can end with a try here. Yamasawa is to the left. But they go to the right. Fujiwara. Bakalahi. Fujiwara once more. It's the short run as he's looking for. Fukui it was who took the ball up. It's Australia who are desperately trying to keep their try line intact in the second half. Bakalahi gets there. Japan able to end with a flourish. Australia running out of numbers. The Japanese precise in their close forward play. Blythe, who was involved in that, couldn't get his big mitt under the ball in time. You no, know, while it wasn't exactly as clinical as, as we hoped it to be, you know, uh, you know, we kept showing up. Um, you know, Japan, you know, actually a, a fairly decent side, eh? and, they, and they turned up today. Um, you know, so to see the boys fight through those tough, those tough sections of the game, um, and and then to come out with that score, you know, we'll, we'll take that. But we've still got a long, 
a long way to go and a lot to learn from that.